Welcome to week five of parametric modeling. And in today's lesson, we are going to work with constructive solid geometry concepts. And basically, this is kind of a break this week on learning um, anything really on the new side. This is more or less a continuation and allowing you to take time to get uh, to understand the uh, the software and to get uh, get caught up and it's basically everything we're going to do today is what you've already done and uh, I'll show you it, basically when you look at solid geometry it's when you take one piece and then you keep adding pieces to it to make the object that you're trying to draw and uh, just for example uh, I'm going to start out here and uh, hit me a 2D rectangle and again if you want to change those dimensions you can it's no big deal. And we can make this in two and then dimension this side over here at 1.5. This is what we call parametrics, being able to go in and, and modify things. If we got our 2D sketch done, we hit finish sketch and let's add the th uh, third dimension to this. Extrude, make sure you're on join, which it will be because we have nothing to cut. And uh, we'll make it maybe a half of an inch. Now this is where the constructive uh, solid geometry comes from. We're constructing it. I'm going to put a uh, a piece on this. Uh, I want to put something round on the top of it. I'm just going to hit this. I could hit create new uh, 2D sketch. It puts the sketch on top of that plane. And you can see that when you turn around. You can see how it's on top of that plane. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here to, uh, I'm going to put a circle in here. Just bring it over like that. And then that's the only uh, sketch I need in this 2D. I want to go and put it in 3D. I'm going to extrude. And that's fine, half an inch up. Now, the only problem is right now, <clears throat> if I would have put the sketch on the bottom and went up, it would have had it all together. But you can see how I'm missing uh, part of this round down here and this should come all the way down flush with this uh, plane here. Um, real quick trick for this and this is something that I want you to really pay attention to is what we call project geometry. What I can do is come over here and hit new create uh, 2D sketch or I can right click on it new sketch but this tool up here in the sketch mode is project geometry and check out what it does. You see this image right there? That's on a different plane. I want to bring it to the plane that I'm on, the sketch plane I'm drawing on. So you can click on it, click on this, and if you'll check this out, see how it brought that shape, that geometry, to this plane? So now I can finish the sketch, go in there and use that as my border, and uh, distance, all I have to do is do two to that plane right there, and then it's all one piece. It's pretty nice, isn't it? If you're used to using AutoCAD 3D, uh, you'd have to use the Boleyn tools and you'd have to join and subtract and things of that sort. Inventor, when they designed this program, they made they simplified everything. Uh, as you can see, those were two different pieces that we put on there, but you see how they automatically joined each other together, and this is joined with this. It's just it's it's a great tool, and. Uh, I might want to put a hole in this up here. Just uh, you can also right click new sketch, put you a sketch there, and I want to put a hole, so I want to put a point. Finish my sketch out, and uh, go to your hole command. And the reason I didn't use just an extrude to cut that hole through, use the cut cut command on the extrude, is because this one just provides you so many more tools. And whenever you get into your drawing. Uh, part of this, the IDW, you can actually uh, go on there and click this with a whole, uh, whole dimension and it'll provide you with all the details of that hole instead of if you extrude it, it's just a circle, it just gives you a radius. So it's, it's really neat and you also got these different things to work with. You got a hole, counter bore, and uh, a counter sink, and then a spot face. So, and you also got threads on this which is awesome. But I want to make this a half inch diameter, and just like that, we have that put in there, and it's it's really it's really neat. This software is really neat. Also, if if something happens, you mess up on something, 
let's say for instance this hole right here is messed up maybe I want it three quarters just come over here if it's in the right location our 2d sketch is fine so you don't have to edit sketch you have to edit the feature and I can add whatever I want to it 0.75 and that made the hole larger that is what's so great with parametric uh, uh, software and this uh, and this inventor program it's just it's really easy to edit it's really easy to draw in and uh, if you just take your time and learn these basic uh, concepts you'll do fine in the rest of the course so take time and absorb this material in and have a good week